Welcome back now crew. I have a fun, simple set. So Sharon sent me this video. I'm gonna let it play. Add some red, orange, yellow, pink, ooh, white, green, turquoise, blue, purple. This is not looking good. Trust the process. <laughs> Turned out kind of cute, right? Heck yeah, that's kind of cute. Okay, so Sharon sent me that video and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to try it. So immediately I went into the nail room and I did it, you guys. I did it. So I'm so glad I recorded it so you guys can watch it. I think it came out beautiful. So the first thing I did was gelled on my tip. You guys know I don't like to use glue. I use base coat gel for my tips. So I just gelled it on. I did a quick flash cure with the powder lamp. And now I'm doing a full cure in my large lamp, okay? So once the nail is on and it is secure, honey, we are going to file it down. So if you you would have used glue you would have still had to file it down this isn't anything extra so go ahead and blend that tip in and remove the shine from the plastic nail tip this is to ensure that the gel or poly gel doesn't peel or pull away so once you're done filing you guys you grab your dust brush I have this cute <laughs> dust brush and I got it from the bottle so I will leave a coupon code to that beautiful dust brush in the description box okay so now it's time for our prep and prime so I'm using the prep and prime from tickle pink you guys uh, I just found this company actually a nail sister put me on a nail sister put me on you guys thank y'all so much as soon as you guys hear something new you DM me and hoo -hoo, I appreciate it I really do so yeah nail sister turned me on to this company and I have just been ordering 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 like I told you guys in a previous video I have a whole new box of stuff from tickle pink coming <laughs> so yeah stay tuned for that unboxing so anyway i applied the prep i applied the primer and now i am applying the base coat you guys and i do love the consistency of this base coat <laughs> i love everything from their website so far i really do you guys they got me they got me all right let's pop it in the oven and let it bake 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 shall we sing yeah let's just sing let's just sing let's just sing pop her in the oven pop her in the oven pop her in the oven i let her bake 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 what she doing bake 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 what she doing bake Bake, bake. All right, y'all. So after we're done bake, bake, baking, it's time for the fun. Pull out the poly gel. So I have some white poly gel here. So this one is from Macar, as you can tell. And the other one is from Ohuhu. I don't know which white I'm going to use yet. So I just put them both to the side. So the colored poly gel, oh, this is the fun part, like all the fun colors. <laughs> so most of my colored poly gel is from Macar, I'm noticing. I didn't realize I had this much Macar. Macar, shout out to you. Okay, Macar, I had no idea I had this much colored poly gel from Macar. So I'm just gonna go through and pick out whatever color that I want, you guys. This process took me the longest. So yeah, I had to do most of that off camera. <laughs> so I have some beautiful colors and I hope that you guys like the colors I chose. It was very, very, very hard for me to decide what colors I wanted, but I knew that I had to throw in a glitter. So this was a really, really pretty glitter poly gel and I was just, oh, she needed to just, she, she needed it. She needed to get on the nail. She needed to get on the nail. You guys, I needed to throw in a glitter poly gel and that one was nice. The consistency was nice. It wasn't too stiff. Okay, so here's a truth moment for you guys. You guys can watch me plop poly gel on the nail real quick while I give you guys a truth moment, okay? So I always tell you how much I love, love, love thick, stiff, firm poly gel and <laughs> I love it okay if it's nice and thick and firm it's for me darling it's for me okay so when I'm building a nail and I need a nice juicy thick nail <laughs> I like to use a firm poly gel because I just feel like it holds better it forms better I'm able to just build an overall nail better quicker easier with the firm poly gel okay however when you are doing a swirl like this firm poly gels are not your friend and that's why I do not have any yogi poly gel on the table right now your yogi is one of my favorite brand of poly gels but that's when you're building 
a, like a, a solid color nail. You get what I mean? Because it's a little bit stiffer to move than a nice softer poly gel. So McCart is very firm, okay? But it's not as firm as Yoyogi. So that's why I'm not using any Yoyogi poly gel. I just want to throw that out there. Now, if you guys are trying to get this set and you only have really stiff or firm poly gel, you can still do this exact same set. What I would tell you to do is squeeze out a little bit of your colored poly gel into like, you know, any type of small opaque container. Mix it with builder gel or base coat gel. Give it a good mix. It might take a while, but give it a good mix and that will thin it out or soften it up a little bit. Okay, so you guys can do that if you really want to get this pride set. Okay, so you guys, after I plopped all the colors on the nail, I decided to swirl it around with the spatula and uh, the poly gel tool. But listen, you guys, it was not looking like homegirls in the beginning of the video. So I'm like, oh my, thank God I'm only doing one nail because if this comes out jacked up, like nobody has time to look at me do five jacked up nails. So I was like, thank God, you know, it'll just be one nail, boop -de boop boop it'll be a fail, we could all laugh at my misery. But no, as I started to swirl it more and more with the brush, you guys, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Do not give up, you guys. Don't give up. My nail was looking a hot garbage mess. Hot garbage mess. But I kept working with it. I kept working with it. I'm bringing some of that glitter to the front. I'm swirling. I'm mixing. And I'm starting to like her. If you are liking my swirl poly gel pride nail so far, Go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. If you don't like it so far, do not do anything. Don't leave me a thumbs down. You got to wait to the end. <laughs> she gets better and better as we move along. <laughs> so if you already like her, go ahead and drop the thumbs up. If you do not like her, hang tight. Sit on your thumbs. Sit on your thumbs. Sit on them. Don't, don't do that. Don't leave me a bad comment, okay? So on the sides, you guys, what I'm doing with my spatula tool is just kind of like scraping the sides of the nail. Why? Because I don't want a lot of finish filing at the end, okay? So we're just gonna make that as nice and smooth as possible. So at the end, we're not here for 12 hours trying to file the nail. And you guys, I, hmm, what do you think? What do you think? I still have to file it and do all of that fun stuff. But what do you think? What do you think? I love it. You guys, it doesn't look exactly like homegirls in the beginning. And that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I really dig it. I really dig it. Okay, let's pop it in the oven and let it bake, bake, bake. Let it bake, bake, bake. Let it bake, bake, bake. She in there looking so cute. Yeah. Okay, so while she's baking, let's get ready to encapsulate. I have a spoon. I have the same base coat I was using for slip. And I have some clear acrylic. The clear acrylic, you guys, is from Tickle Pink, of course. I told you guys. I went ham on the website, okay? I went ham. I got a bunch of stuff. So we're going to just use the clear acrylic. So I'm brushing on the base coat. Now you could use any base coat you want. Of course, I do have the Tickle Pink base coat. I don't wanna waste it, you know what I mean? So I'm using this random base coat. Any base coat will work. You brush it on even strokes. So I'm trying to get my strokes even because wherever there's no base coat, if there's a gap in the base coat, there's going to be a gap in the acrylic and it's gonna look a hot mess, okay? So just take your time with that part. Brush over the base coat on the entire nail and then scoop on the acrylic powder. So for this part, you can do it as many times as you want. So as many layers as you desire, you can do that. Just make sure you do a full cure in between each layer. So I'm going to let this cure for a full 60 seconds. And I think that's good enough for me. But like I said, if you want your nails a little bit thicker, a little bit stronger, go ahead and do a second layer of the gel base coat and the acrylic powder. So it is super hard, you guys. When it dries, it dries just like acrylic or hard gel or anything like that it's super durable you guys poly gel nails are very 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 durable and in fact when it comes time to take them off you guys will know what i mean <laughs> poly gel nails don't but they don't but all right so now i'm gonna start with the filing process 
and I like to start with my hand file. I have a really coarse hand file. I believe this is an 8080. I love a good 8080 grit, but if you guys are new and this is too strong for you, obviously you could downgrade to like a 180. I think that's a safer range for beginners. All right, so I did a quick little hand file. I made sure to look at the nail in all directions just to make sure that it looks straight and neat from the top, bottom, and side. And then I pulled up my e file. I'm just going to do a quick you know, a little quick, quick, quick file over the top of the nail. So when I apply the bling and the top coat, she is looking glossy and she is looking smooth. All right, so like I told you, the more and more we get into the video and the more and more the nail is coming to an end, the more and more it looks good. So, all right, where my thumbs up at, you guys? Where is my thumbs up? Because she is looking cute. All right, so we're going to add bling. The bling that I'm adding, you know, when I pull out this container, what it is. Y'all know what it is when I pull out this container. This is my recycled bling. This is bling that I wore. And, you know, when I went to take my set off, I was able to remove them. The silver backing was still there. The bling was still usable. So, you know, over here, we don't waste anything. <laughs> I saved them in this container. I cleaned them off. And it's perfect for doing little fun practice sets like these. So yeah, pulled out my little recycle bling, you guys, and no one will ever tell. Who, who, how are they gonna know? Who's gonna know? How are they gonna know? <laughs> They'll never know. <laughs> so I'm just throwing a random bling on the nail. So in the inspiration video, she had just like a cuticle line bling, and I really do love that look, but I do it all the time, so I just wanted to you know, add something else. And I, oh, I love a good cluster. Let me tell you guys, I love a good swirl nail. I love a good swirl nail. And I love a good bling cluster. So I went with, you know, a little side cluster, you guys. I went with a little side cluster. And she is too cute. I am loving her. What do you guys think? I love her. I love her. I love her. All right, so I am going to pull out my pottle lamp and do a quick flash cure. And here's why. Whenever I put bling on the nail and then walk the nail over to the large lamp to cure it, I said this before, but somewhere between me putting the bling on and the hand getting into the large lamp, the bling always moves, slides, just does its own thing. So I decided to start flash curing it before I put it in the large lamp and that has saved my life, you guys. So this is what the nail looks like. I love her, where my thumbs up at you guys? Where is my thumbs up? Pride 2021, okay? Thumbs up, thank you. Love you guys so much, thanks for watching, bye.